Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallis hier. Heute wollte ich kurz über den Nominativ und Akkusativ sprechen. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the nominative and accusative cases, how to tell them apart and what makes nouns nominative and accusative. So we're going to review before we get started when a noun is in the nominative case in German. So rule number one, if it's the subject of a sentence, it's nominative, okay? Secondly, if it comes after a form, a conjugation of the verb sein, which can be the present tense conjugations of bin, bist, is, sind, or zeit, or a past tense conjugation like wa, was, waren, or wat, then it will be considered to be the predicate nominative. We have this also in English. And it can also appear after the, uh, in certain cases, after the verb werden, or after the verb heißen. So let's look at some examples of the nominative case here. Die Blume ist schön. In this sentence, the Blume, or flower, is the subject of the sentence, so therefore it's nominative. Uh, das ist mein Auto. In this sentence, Auto comes after a conjugation of the verb sein, in this case ist, making it the predicate nominative. Der Junge wird ein Mann. The young, the boy becomes a man. So in this case, it's also predicate nominative. In this, I told you that the nominative can occur after a conjugation of sein, but it can also occur sometimes after a conjugation of the verb werden, in this case wird. Die Frau ist meine Lehrerin. So this is uh, also the predicate nominative coming after conjugation of the, of the verb sein, ist. Der alte Mann sieht eine Jache an. So the old man is putting on a jacket. The man hears the subject, so it's nominative as well. Okay, so what makes a noun accusative? Well, rule number one, remember that accusative is the direct object of a sentence. It's sometimes called the direct object case, just like the nominative is sometimes referred to as the subject case. So it is the direct object of a sentence. Secondly, it appears after certain accusative prepositions in German. These prepositions are always accusative, and they are durch, für, gegen, ohne, um, or if you want to remember them in a song, durch vergegen ohne um, oder durch vergegen ohne um, akustiv, akustiv. So just uh, try whatever helps you to remember them. Uh, you also have a preposition in lang, and it's not like the others because it often is written after the, the object of the preposition, whereas the object of the durch für gegen ohne um prepositions will be after the preposition, and lang will come after it, like ich gehe den Fluss entlang, so I'm going along the river. Um, bis means until, and it can sometimes be used with other prepositions as well, but by itself it's accusative. Okay, so let's look at the accusative personal pronouns, and as you see here, I have the subject or nominative pronouns already here. So in the nominative it's ich, in the accusative it becomes mich. In the nominative it's du, in the accusative becomes dich. Uh, he, in the nominative, er, becomes ihn, she, stays sie. Um, for it, in German, you can refer to masculine nouns with er, you can refer to feminine nouns with z. so that's why there are three different possibilities here, and when it's a direct object, you can refer to it with the same system, so for a neuter noun, you might refer to it as s, for a feminine noun, you may refer to that as z, and for a masculine noun, you may refer to it with ihn. Uns is us, euch, as we say here in Georgia, y'all, but you all. Z formal is z and z for they, or in, as a direct object, them. Ich sehe z, I see them. So these are the personal pronouns. You want to make sure you are familiar with them, both in the nominative and in the accusative. Okay, so now let's take a look at definite articles. A definite article, in case you don't know, or in case that term confuses you, is nothing more than the, okay? And in English, we only have the, but in German, there are three ways to say the. You have der, die, or das in the nominative. But in the accusative, if it's a, a masculine noun, it will change to den, and die and das will stay the same. So, uh, for example, die Katze ist groß, ich sehe die Katze. Der Hund ist groß, ich sehe den Hund. Das Auto ist blau, ich sehe 
das Auto, okay? So using it in the nominative and the accusative, subject or direct object. Okay, so just remember, dare change to Dane, D and das stay the same. Okay, the indefinite articles is another way of saying a, okay? So in the nominative, when it's a subject, if it's a masculine or a neuter noun, you would use ein. Ein Hund, okay, if it was a subject. Ein Auto, if it was a subject. However, if it becomes a direct object or comes after an accusative preposition and it's a masculine noun, it would be einen. For example, ich sehe einen Hund. Ich sehe eine Frau. Ich sehe ein Auto. Okay, so just look at those indefinite articles and how they change. And this also applies to the possessive pronoun. So the same system, for example, with mine, you would say meinen, uh, du siehst meinen Hund, du siehst meine Frau, or du siehst mein Auto. Okay, so here we have a short um, practice here over being able to identify what case a noun is in. And I have several sentences here in German with a noun underline. If you want to try this on your own, stop the video here and then work through it. Watch which is which case is the noun in. I'm going to go over it. Ich werde den Hut kaufen. Well, Dane is a dead giveaway that this is accusative, but it's really also because it's the direct object of the sentence. Remember, the direct object is what receives the action of the verb. I will buy what? The hat. So that's the direct object, therefore accusative. Du bist eine schöne Frau. Nominative, because it's coming after a conjugation of sein. Here, bist. Das ist für das Auto. That is for the car. Here we have a conjugation of the, for, of the verb sein, ist. But you also have an accusative preposition. So when that's the case, you go with the preposition because the car is actually closer to the preposition. It's really the object of an accusative preposition. Wo ist meine Jache? Nom nominative. Das Rathaus here is the subject of a sentence, so nominative. Wirst du das Kleid anziehen? Kleid here is a direct object, so accusative. Ich lehne gegen die Wand. Uh, it's the object of an accusative preposition, in this case, gegen. Es ist nicht, er ist nicht mein Freund, uh, coming after ist, a predicate nominative. Ich liebe meine Deutschklasse, so you love what? German class, that's the direct object, accusative. Mein Auto ist kaputt, my car is broken down or no good, so it's the subject, nominative. Here we have a few more examples. Wo ist der Hund? Nominative, comes after ist. Sie kocht uns eine Suppe. That's what she's cooking. It's a direct object. Ich habe die Katze gesehen. That's what I've seen. That's a direct object. Ich muss meinen Bleistift spitzen. I'm sharpening what? The pencil. Direct object. Das Zimmer ist zu klein. Subject. Wann ist die Party? Comes after a conjugation of sein, making it the predicate nominative. Wir fahren durch die Stadt. Durch is an accusative preposition. Kannst du mir das Buch bringen? Uh, what are you bringing? The book. That's receiving the action of the verb, so it's the direct object. Kannst du das Auto waschen? Can you wash the car? Direct object. Ist sie deine Schwester? Is she your sister? So it comes after a conjugation of the verb sein. So, uh, and then for hast du meinen Tintenkiller? This is the direct object of the sentence, so it's uh, accusative. Ich sehe den Mann. Uh, I see the man here. Um, remember in the accusative, der changed the Dane, die and das say the same. Kannst du mir das Buch bringen? Buch is the direct object. Uh, der Bahnhof ist nicht weit weg. Bahnhof here is the subject of the sentence, so nominative. Wo ist der Bahnhof? So nominative. Uh, ich habe die Startkarte. I have the map. Er muss den Kuli kaufen. He has to buy the pen. The pen is the direct object. Wo ist der Kuli? Und das ist für den Hund, für ist ein accusative preposition. Okay, now we're going to try where you write them yourself. If you want to give it a shot here, before I give you the example or give you the answers, you can stop the video. So here we go. That is not for you. Das ist nicht für dich. I can see you. Ich kann dich sehen. I see the dog. Ich sehe den Hund, because the dog here is the direct object, so masculine noun changing to Dane. 
Can you see the dog? Kannst du den Hund sehen? Remember with können, which is a modal verb, the other verb in the sentence will be at the end. So that's where sehen will be. Kannst du den Hund sehen? What can you do without me? Was kannst du ohne mich machen? Or if we wanted to be polite, was können sie ohne mich machen? What can you do without me? Ohne is accusative preposition. Er ist der Mann. So here it is the predicate nominative. Das ist der Schreibtisch. And then do you have my pencil? Hast du meinen Bleistift? Bleistift is masculine. So it changes to, if we want to say the, it'd be den. So we just take this en, if you want to think of it like this, off of the den, and we put it on the possessive pronoun mein, and we get meinen. Hast du meinen Bleistift? Okay, das war's. Ich denke es für heute. Vielen Dank für das Zuschauen und Zuhören.